Hi, my name is Sam. Today we'll be discussing the four basic type of RF and microwave filters employed in all type of communication systems as well as radar, electronic warfare, and other applications. There are four basic types of filters we'll be discussing. Low pass filters, high pass filters, band pass filters, and band stop filters, which are also sometimes called notch or band reject filters. First, let's talk about low pass filters. A low pass filter does exactly what its name suggests. It passes all the frequencies up to a specific cutoff frequency without attenuation. Signal above the cutoff frequencies are rejected. Low pass filters typically are used to dispose of the harmonics of amplifiers or other signal generating devices in a system as well as spurious signals from other sources. Next comes the high pass filter. These filters reject signals below a specific cutoff frequency and let others above it to pass without attenuation. So, a high pass filter is exactly the opposite of a low pass filter. High pass filters can be useful to reject signals from other systems operating below your system's operating frequency. The next type, band pass filters, are the most widely used by far because the function they perform is needed very frequently. Remember that low pass filters reject signals higher than their cutoff frequencies and passes signals below them. High pass filters reject signal lower than their cutoff point and passes all frequencies above it. In contrast, band pass filters reject signals below and above your system's operating frequency band. They essentially do two things. They pass a band of frequencies that are desirable for your system and they reject frequencies above and below your operating band. Many communication systems operate at specific bands and band pass filters are necessary to remove interference above and below that operating band. Our last filter type the band stop or notch filter has a very different objective. To reduce or eliminate signals or a specific frequency band causing interference. Looking at the diagram, you can see why they're often called notch filters. They create a deep notch within a wide operating frequency band, meaning a large amount of rejection at the specific frequency band. So rather than rejecting signals higher or lower than your operating frequency or both, a band stop filter rejects signals at any frequency in which a signal may be causing troubles. Regardless of the type of filter, the key parameter is rejection. It can be steep like this or gradual like this. This is a very simplistic way of explaining basic filters. We'll be getting into more specifics in our next videos. I hope that you found this video helpful. Take the time to learn more and thank you for watching.